Greetings, my Narrowgate family. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I believe you're all doing well by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, brethren, I have a dream that I had on uh, just a couple of days ago that I want to share with you. And uh, before I share with you this dream, I would, let, I would like us to read from the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Brethren, uh, this word comes just at the right time because now uh, there's a need for us to thank our Heavenly Father because now He has opened our eyes that we no longer walk in lukewarmness, we no longer walk blindly. Uh, he has removed us from the broad way and brought us on the narrow way. We have to thank God for, for all this because a lot of things are happening on the broad way uh, which really needs prayers. Brethren, uh, in the dream that I had, I saw I was sitting in the house with uh, a few of my relatives, including a cousin of mine, who is a male cousin. And uh, there's this uh, sister uh, whom I used to fellowship with in, uh, in my former church, the church that I used to go when I was still on the Broadway. So this, uh, this sister, she, she's a divorcee, and um, she's, she's just living single. She never got married again, but she's a nurse by profession. And uh, she's a leader in that church, you know. So she came like she was coming to visit. And uh, when it reached a time that she wanted to leave, she insisted that she want to, she want to, uh, my cousin to see her off, you know. Now, uh, because my cousin was just in the house and she, there was nothing he was doing, then I remember asking him to see her off. So they left. But uh, a few let's say a few minutes later or a few hours, or let me say just later on, I saw my cousin coming back and uh, he wore a long face. He looked so disturbed. So I got curious and, and, and I asked him, like, what's wrong? Because when you went, you left, you were okay. Now you're coming back like you, 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 you looked so disturbed. So he opened up to me and he said, you know what? Uh, that sister, when... Uh, I was seeing her off. We reached on the on the way, and he, he she insisted that I should take her uh, to to her house. So when I went, uh, she was just alone in the house, and she started uh, taking advantage of me sexually. Is when I ran ran away and come and came back home. So and then I came out of that dream. So when I came out of that dream, I remember I prayed, and uh, when I was praying. Um, the Spirit of God just dropped this verse in my spirit, uh, which is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12 that says, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Brethren, it's, it's a high time. We need to be serious. We need to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. It's that time, Lord, that we, we are not supposed to look on any any man, any human being. Rather, we need to look on God alone because a lot of things are happening around the world right now. The devil has known that uh, majority, their weakness is is, uh, uh, is fornication. So uh, he's pouring out the spirit of fornication even in churches. Yeah. So uh, you'll find like even the leaders in churches, in Broadway churches, they are fornicating and they act like nothing is nothing is happening. You know, they will fornicate during the week and they go to church on Sunday and they behave like nothing really happened. It has become like a norm. You know. And it, it is seen before the eyes of our Father. Because the Bible says that uh, nothing unholy shall enter the kingdom of God. This is why we are embracing holiness. You know, we need to ask God for forgiveness every minute, every hour, so that we may be uh, holy before his throne, that we may be holy before his face. Because uh, in this world that we are living in, you know, there's deception left, right, and center. So this dream just opened my eyes, you know, and when this, this verse came to, dropped into my spirit, you know, and uh, the, the Holy Spirit was just ministering to me like it's a high time, you know, because these leaders have failed us, have failed us big time in churches, you know, because 
even the the so-called men of God have, have 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 slept like they can't see anything that is going on in churches this is why even the leaders can do whatever they like but because they come to church and they have titles they have money there's nothing wrong with that you know for them they see there's nothing wrong with that but it is abominable before the eyes of God so this was the dream that I I, I had and I will just urge us oh, uh even as we are going to pray for our children let us also remember our teenagers let us also remember our youth because you know the devil is a liar and he's 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 he's, he's uh, coming out with all the tricks that he he, he has you know just just to make sure that our our youth our our children our small children and uh, and our teenagers will not make it to heaven so let's stand in prayers and pray for all of them let us even pray for we parents you know even as we raise them let let us raise them in the ways of god that they may be able to discern when when they see like uh things are not going on right uh before the eyes of god they will be able to resist the works of the devil in the mighty name of jesus Stay blessed. I love you all.